Hello everyone, welcome back to Al Doves Investing. If you're new to the channel, welcome guys. And if you're not, thank you for dropping back in. Please do not forget, through the month of October, we are giving away a trading course valued up to $500. That's right, please do not forget, to enter that, you need to like, subscribe, and share, and also leave a comment below saying, give me my course. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Our Dubs Investing. We're on this channel, we do daily videos on cryptocurrency, stock investing, the biggest, the baddest, the biggest news that you need to know each and every day to keep you up to date. And if you like that, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Smash absolutely everything, guys. It is absolutely free. Let's jump in. All right, everyone, let's jump in. Let's have a look what's happening in the markets today. We have Bitcoin at 51,263, Ethereum at 3,449. We have selected altcoins in the gray, selected in the red, too dark red today. Bitcoin does not know what it's doing, guys. We have definitely gotten above the psychological 50,000 US dollars. We are looking like we are in the next uptrend, the last uptrend of this bull phase market, guys. What is going to be happening? Make sure you hit some comments below. Let me know what you think. Let's get into it. Okay, let's go. 62% of institutions to start investing in crypto within one year. Institutional investors are increasingly looking to move into cryptocurrency investments to grow their revenues long term. As many as 62% of global institutional investors with zero exposure to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, they said they expect to make their first investment in cryptocurrency within one year. Released Tuesday, the survey interviewed 50 wealth managers and 50 institutional investors across the United States, United Kingdom, France, Germany, and UAE said, said that. Institutional investors' first cryptocurrency investment is the potential capital increase in a long-term investment, with 47% 40, of representatives citing this factor. 41% of respondents also indicated they were willing to invest in crypto for the first time due to the improved regular environment, while 34% considered crypto as a good hedge against inflation. What is inflation? It's not even happening, says the media. There's no doubt that the crypto asset market is becoming more mainstream in the institutional and wealth management sector. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know. Are you one of those investors? Are you bullish on this? I certainly am. I reckon this is great for the market. Let's keep going. Bacon Protocol launches decentralized mortgage platform. The platform gives crypto holders direct access to the mortgage investment market, which is currently controlled by banks and governments. Decentralized mortgage lender Bacon Protocol officially launched on Tuesday, allowing cryptocurrency investors to participate in the housing market through a new stablecoin that's backed by USD, a USDC, and home loans. Bacon announced on Tuesday that it is holding holding a public sale of B Home token, which is described as a stablecoin plus coin that backed by the USDC stablecoin. Bacon Protocol works by giving homeowners the ability to exchange a lend on their property for a non-fungible token or NFT that represent a percentage of their property they purchased. The US mortgage market is a complex ecosystem comprising banks, corporations, governments, and borrowers. In 2019, the value of all US residential mortgages was estimated to be worth $11 trillion. Despite record low interest rates, the market attacks big investors keen to collect interest payments on mortgages. It estimates that banks, companies, and government purchase over $2 trillion worth of mortgages each year year. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve has over $2.5 trillion worth of mortgage-backed securities in the balance sheet as of Thursday. Great for the market. This is looking to tokenize the economy, so to speak. This is definitely bullish news. Let me know what you think. Are you interested in this? Please make sure you let me know in the comments. Let's keep going.
Europe becomes the largest crypto economy with over 1 trillion in transactions. DeFi become a major catalyst for Europe's crypto economy. Large institutions have also been up their share of transactions significantly. The region of Central, Northern and Western Europe or CNWE has merged as the world's most active cryptocurrency block receiving over 1 trillion worth of digital assets over the past year. Region accounted for 25% of global crypto active payments between July 2020 and June 2021 respectively. Uptick in transaction volume across all crypto subcategories, especially decentralized finance or DeFi. Huge space to be in, guys. Europe has also became a hotbed for institutional investors with transaction values in category growing to 46.3 billion in June compared with just 1.4 billion in July 2020. Perhaps surprisingly, the United Kingdom is the single largest crypto economy in the region at 170 billion worth of transactions. Nearly half of 49% of the value was sent via DeFi protocols. Huge news for this. Are you in Europe? Are you enjoying this? Are you unlocking the potential? It looks like it is much more crypto friendly in Europe. I hope more countries get involved in this to unlock the potential of blockchain. Let's keep going. Verifone to enable crypto payments at major retails through BitPay. One of the world's largest point of sale providers has partnered with BitPay to allow US based merchants to accept crypto payments. This has become the case for both crypto holders and non-crypto owners who are primarily interested in the concept of using cryptocurrencies for payments. Recent data has found that 93% of crypto users surveyed would consider making purchases in crypto. Are you one of them? Would you like to purchase everything with your cryptocurrency? Please make sure you let me know in the comments. It'd be very interesting. The report further revealed that 59% of consumers who don't hold crypto would be interested in using it to make purchases in the future. Fantastic news. As such, it shouldn't come as a surprise that major payment providers like MasterCard have been ramping up their efforts to support crypto payments moving forward forward. Verify, one of the largest point of sale providers in the world, announced that today the extension of BitPay's blockchain payment technology will enable cryptocurrency transactions. By the end of the year, merchants leveraging Verify's in-store e-commerce and cloud services platform in the United States will be able accepting cryptocurrency payments. We feel that having crypto available on our terminals will open up more options and opportunity for consumers, which is what Verify aims to do. This opens up a crypto, a currency that has never before seen on terminals, and we want to be at the forefront of this trend. Well done, well done, Verifone. Verifone operates 36 million point of sale or POS devices and has processed over 10 billion transactions, generating over 350 billion in volume per year. This is huge, huge news for the market. Absolutely huge. Are you bullish on this? I absolutely am. This is just more reasons to get into crypto, buy your everyday shopping. That is what the everyday consumer is saying. They do not like cryptocurrency because they cannot buy everything with it. This is opening up the door. As you heard, over 10 billion dollars worth of transactions absolutely huge 350 billion this year alone absolutely massive let's keep going righty Robinhood confirms crypto wallet feature on the app starting in october the company did not specify which token the digital wallet would support but the app currently provides commission-free trading for bitcoin ethereum litecoin bitcoin cash Bitcoin SV, Dodge, and ETC. Trading Robinhood has opened up a waitlist to test a crypto wallet for users to hold their tokens. Robinhood plans to start a to start to test a digital wallet feature on its app that enables users to send and receive cryptocurrencies in October. The move may encourage more Robinhood users to use the app for crypto trading as it currently only allows them to buy crypto with the United States dollars and trade on the platform. Users cannot deposit or withdraw in crypto. 
Commission-free trading for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Bitcoin SV, Dogecoin, and Ethereum Classic are going to look at being available. The company said it planned for the wallet to have security features including identity verification, multi-factor authentication, and email and phone verification to keep coins safe from hackers and other threats with trading volume growing significantly in the last year the company generated 5 million in crypto trading services for all 2020 but 233 million in the second quarter of 2021 this represents 41 percent of its 565 million quarterly revenue this is bullish news absolutely crazy for robin hood are you a robin hood fan please let me know in the comment section if you are bullish on this ah, if you are looking to use the robin hood app to buy and sell cryptocurrencies if you are sitting buying cryptocurrencies please make sure you check out the pinned comment there is a heap of links in there to make sure you can get you some free bitcoin upon signing up guys please do not forget to check it out let's keep going all righty Last one for today, guys. SEC restraints seek DeFi and physically back Bitcoin ETF approval. Amplify ETF Investo and Galaxy submitted restraints to the US SEC for Bitcoin and DeFi based ETF offerings. Crypto companies from the United States filed two registration statements with the Security Exchange Commission seeking permission to sell exchange traded funds or ETF in related to a Bitcoin and decentralized finance space. Atlanta-based investment company Investo joined New York Galaxy Digital Fund to file a registered Investico Galaxy Bitcoin ETF. Amplify ETF filed the second registration to add DeFi-centric open-end ETF funds offering the Amplify ETF trust galaxy bitcoin etf will be registered as a security offering with the ability to get listed on traded exchanges in the united states trust will use robust physical barriers to enter electronic surveillance and continuous roving patrol patrols to protect bitcoin's private keys on the other hand the sec approved for Amplify's ETF Norm N1A filing will allow the company to issue unlimited new shares for American investors. This is just one step behind. This is absolutely bullish news. ETFs are looking at getting at least somewhat approved. This is A-OK. -okay. This is definitely going to be good for the overall market, for the institutional investor as well. This is what everyone wants. They want to be able to easily stack bitcoins in an etf even though it's a derivative this is still a fantastic way of getting some exposure let's keep going hey everyone thank you for sticking around towards the end of the video please do not forget come out and check out ldubs.com forward slash courses to have a look at some of our courses we currently have a 50 percent off sale on at the moment make sure you come and check it out that's right 50 percent off all of our courses it is absolutely crazy come and check it out ldubsinvesting.com slash courses and in saying that please do not forget check out the pinned comment in the description we have so many goodies in there make sure you come and check it out we have something for everyone and see you next time